Welcome and happy birthday. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday to you guys. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back and for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Alrighty, um, this is the reading for um the um Ophiosis Sagittarius, but it's actually Ophiosis. Um, some of you Sagittarius were not aware um that your birthday this is the ophiosis okay so ophiosis begins from november 29 until december 17 so it is the, you are an ophiosis so if your birthday your birthday is between uh seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen if your birthday is between the, um seven and 13 of December, you are an Ophiosis. So we begin with 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You are an Ophiosis. You're the 13th sign of the Zodiac, okay? So a lot of you thought that you were a Sagittarian. No, you're not Sagittarian. You are one of uh, the healers of this planet. You can give or take life, Okay. But don't take life, but you can give or take life, meaning you have the healing energy within you. Wow. So you Ophiosis, light is going to be shedding on uh, your life. So right after you um, end uh, your birthday and the next day, that is when your zodiac year, twin tuck, twin tuck begins, okay? So a lot of people take resolution on a year and that. You are just about to re um, um, revolve in your twin tuck, twin tuck, uh, um, zodiac energy, okay? So that was 29 you were dealing with. Um, the zodiac, because if... Uh, I got to explain this more. I will do a video to explain um, because if you were born in one year, the next year before you become um, one. OK, so you go 12 months before you get back to your zodiac when you were born. So it is always a year behind. So you have just ended 2019 and after your birthday in this week, you are going to be beginning 2020. So that was your 2019 and it doesn't really matter if you were born one year or the other year it doesn't go um it is a always a year behind or a year for out or a year a year behind okay so what are we seeing and and, and ladies and gentlemen um these are accumulating readings so this these accumulated reading is that you fall in uh, um the accumulation of seven to thirteen and whenever you fall in the accumulation with 7 till 13 um what this is saying for you is that uh, a lot of you a new love is going to be coming in so let's say that you were born after the center because the center is the energy of the devil the five of cups and the eight of wands so now what is happening here um this is uh, um um regrets a lot of you regret regret a situation that you got yourself involved with so a lot of you have some sort of a regret that you're dealing with okay so be aware of that so if you were born on this day you're going to be having this first energy in the first three months or the first month you're going to be having some sort of a regretful situation a whole lot of information coming in second month you're dealing with with these water cup men, it could be your father, that sort of a thing. The third month, fourth month, fifth month, sixth month, seventh month, eighth month, ninth month, ten month, twelve, ten, eleven, and you come back up to this. So if you notice, it's an accumulation and it goes around in circle. So whatever is in this layout, you're going to be affecting it. So if you start here, um, it is going to be and then come back and repeat itself. So if you did not uh, heal whatever you were dealing in this timeline, it is going to repeat itself, okay? So I see some of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem, some sort of a, um inner strength that you're trying to balance out some sort of a problems and issue and situation with. So I see that is coming up. 
but I see new love is going to be offered. So if you're looking for love, it is going to be a good year for you. A lot of you regret some sort of a situation, heartbreak. So um, heartbreaks, uh, um, the three of uh, swords, the energy of the devil, and it has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man. I see you're going to be receiving some sort of a message from this person and some sort of a information about a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man. I see um, this could be a scorpion man. So I see art breaks for the scorpion man, whatever has happened and transpired. But I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming whatever the issue and situation is. This conflict is going to be over and you're going to be letting it go. So um, that is the center of what is going to be transpiring for you guys the coming year that is coming in. So be aware. Let's look at the people who were born 7, 8, and 9. 7, 8, and 9. I see you're dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person. I see um, they were hoping for some sort of a new start, a Leo person. But I see heartbreaks comes up for them. I see worries, truths came out about um, a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness. An end is coming in to this uh, either Sagittarian or Leo person. I see debt and transition. They're hanging in limbo, hanging in limbo, trying to figure out a situation with a Pisces. I see debt is also coming up for a Pisces man. Whoever the Pisces man is and whatever he have done, I see some sort of a transition for him and for a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. Heartbreaks is here for this man. Some of it is heartbreaks is for a um, Pisces man. Some of it heartbreaks uh, for a uh, heartbreaks. Yeah, for a Scorpion man. People are finding out the truth about a Pisces man. Um, so you guys, I see you guys are going to be receiving some sort of a new start. Yay, yay, yay. And the worries is going to be over. They have found out the lies and deceptiveness of a Sagittarian and a Leo person. And I see an end is coming into that. So let's go in your reading. So for the first, the people who were born on the 7th of December, um, Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. I see transition is coming up. A lot of you were dealing with some sort of an issue with some issues that was creating a lot of problems in your life. And finally, people are finding out the truth and the lies and deceptiveness of these people and this situation that was created in your life. A lot of you are seeing that a Sagittarian and a Leo have two face. Um, that is definitely going to be coming out in this year. You're going to be really realizing that these people had two faces and their lies and the truth is going to be coming out. So I see transition and you guys are going to be dealing with uh, um, transition where your angel transition um, is debt and rebirth for a lot of you. And if you notice the infinity cipher sign is coming up, the infinity sign is coming up for you to whatever is happening um, you guys that is born on the seventh, you're on the right part. The infinity sign is coming up. Um, death and birth is where the universe is bringing in some sort of a, um, help for you. The universe has seen what these people have done and how these people have created a whole lot of issue. And I see, um, that they're going to be ending some sort of a situation. So I see your spirit guides is going to be coming up and helping out a lot of you. So, um, congratulations with that. So, um, one and three is, uh, um, is, uh, um, four. And I see truths are going to be coming out uh, at Elin. A whole lot of you are going to be receiving a whole lot of money because they found out about lies and deceptiveness about a whole lot of money and what a fire sign or a Sagittarian have done. Truth is going to be coming out. I see they're realizing the lies and deceptiveness of what this fire sign person have done. Um, and again, a young and an old fire sign person and how they have created a lot of deceptiveness. And I see this money is going to be returned to you guys. So congratulations. We're moving on to the people who were born on um, the 8th of December. Happy birthday. And uh, you have a new start in this year. 
whatever that was happening, whatever problems, whatever issues, situation, problems that was transpiring, you're going to be having a very new start in this year. I see your wishes and dreams. The Nine of Cups is here and the worries that you guys were going through is going to be over now because whatever the problem, the issue is uh, that other people have created, I see a resolution is coming in and I see that this is the year that you're finally going to be receiving that new start and that happiness and joy that you were always been open for. So this is absolutely fabulous. This is as if uh, you you guys are be going to be like released from a whole lot of problems. Um, You know, your wishes and dreams is coming to your dream car, your dream house, your dream, you know, traveling because last year you were going through so much issues, so much situation. And now things are finally going to be ending for you. Three times, two times nine. So definitely I said it. Two times nine, something is going to be ending. And uh, the worries, especially your worries. So, um, so a new start is coming in. You see the energy of 20. It's about the garden and it's about um, a new start. It's about a new invitation that is going to be coming in for you. A new official um, offer is going to be coming in for a lot of you. That is going to be giving you this new start uh, um, in your life and this is going to be good so you have 99 so expect something to leave your life abruptly in this year so from the day after your birthday right back to the next year and this is why i said ladies and gentlemen birthday reading is like 85 um euro and a birthday reading you get everything month to month bowl by month what is going to be coming out also you can see your friend zone your um your money zone i mean your marriage but it's going to be coming you see all of these people groups friendship um so take the year reading it's not too late you can still um order it then we're looking at people who were born on the ninth now this is a year of spirituality it's going to be a year where um your heart is uh, um you know your heart is going to be broken um, because you found out something about your partner, about uh, someone you were in love with, a family member. And this is going to be a year of heartbreaks. And it's about people around you and how to deal with the situation is that whatever action of someone else, whatever someone else action is, uh, um, let it go. Okay. So whatever this person action is towards you that is going to be creating that pain realize that uh, that's the person action and not yours so do not let it affect you and how i say do not let it affect you it says some of you might be in love with um someone and they're treating you very unkindly let it go let it go okay they will receive their karma a new start is uh, going to be coming up for a whole lot of you ophiosis whatever that was happening and transpiring um a lot of you um could be heartbroken from a marriage where your partner have left you um where you found out uh, some sort of uh issues with your partner and it could be heartbreaks where this really hits you and like it's you like a block okay and i see that you are going to be able to resolve this and clear this up uh, um, and I see some of you might be getting married in this year also. I see um, a lot of you want um, want to reconnect. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you um, wants to have a new start with a family member or with a new love. However, this is transpiring and coming up. It could be someone you know from a past lifetime. So you have the three of swords. You have twice three um 12 and one one and two is three so 33 so i see this is a spiritual year where a lot of you are going to be working on the 33 ray it's about loving unconditionally learning to love yourself unconditionally so that you can show it to other people okay and that is the night yes so it is really a spiritual year for you guys and moving forward um, people who were born on the 10th of December, okay, this is like, what is happening to you people? People who are born on the 10th of December, you are dealing with a negative forces in your life. Are you the negative forces? Or are you creating it? Or this person is outside? It looks like a negative force that is outside trying to affect you. So 
um, it is going to be a situation where a lot of you have to seal your houses off, okay, or seal yourself off in this year. This year is a year where a lot of you are going to be working to remove a low energy, low frequency people from you. So you got to protect yourself. And if you notice, a lot of you are going to be affected by this. So each and every person have to learn to see themselves in a pyramid, okay? Whatever you want to do, whatever color you like, see yourself in that color, um, clear your aura, ask your ISL, your guided angel and universal angel to clear your aura at all times so that you can vitalize yourself and these negative energies and frequency that is coming at you won't stick, okay? So a lot of you are going to be having multiple situations to deal with because of negative forces from outside that is affecting your world. And I see a whole lot of regrets, but yet still stand your grounds and just work through these energies so you don't have to deal with them moving forward. Okay. So we have 15, which is six. Um, and uh, this regret is about, uh, um, it could be external forces trying to affect your marriage, your relationship, that sort of a thing. Some of you um, could be dealing with a cancer in your life and you need to let go of this person. This person has negative energies. Okay. Ooh. Oh my God. Uh, okay. All right. I, I, I surprise myself too sometimes people. So you are going to be finding out that some of you, if you had a friend um, that is a cancer, this person is sending you negative energies. Okay. A whole lot of jealousy. And this person is sending you negative energy. So be aware of this person. A whole lot of jealousy is coming in from a cancer for a lot of you. Okay. A cancer and an Aries could be sending you a lot of negative energies. And a Leo. A cancer, a Leo, and an Aries. Okay. They could be caught for something that they have done. Or you could tap them on their fingers for something that they have done. And they're going to be. So this whole year, you got to take them down one by one. And trust me. Ophiosis, I don't have to tell you how to do that. Okay. Just, um, just call upon your eye yourself. They will help you. So, um, two, uh, so six and so you have six, eight, um, five, six, eight and 15, five, six, eight and 15. We're moving on to the people who are born on the 11th. And what we're seeing is that we have the chariot. You're going to be victoriously overcoming or whatever issues, obstacles that was created by a cancer man. You have victoriously overcome um, this situation. And this is going to be good because a lot of you were dealing with some sort of an issue with a young cancer man and a situation to do with a contract. But you're going to be getting your contract no matter what this person is trying to do or was created in your world. The two of pentacles, I see you're going to be balancing out your financial situation in this air and this air. And it's going to be extremely, extremely positive. It's going to be a positive alignment of energy. And it's going to be a very, very positive year for a whole lot of you. So this is extremely going to be powerful. Okay, it's going to be absolutely powerful. So victory and success over a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man that was created in some sort of a competition or conflicts with you. I see you have victoriously successfully overcome this man. This man was in another country um, and this man was creating some sort of a situation in order um, to achieve money on the false pretend. And I see you victoriously move over this person in a very powerful way. And you're ending whatever the conflicts and whatever that was going on. Because this person just try to take your business overseas or just was jealous of your business. There we go. There we go. You are going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a conflict some sort of a competition with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man and you this is now over you and you are going to be letting this go and moving on so this is good um so victory and success for you guys that is born on the 11th of December victory and success you're going to be overcoming maybe this man is a Businessman, this man could have been your boss, this man could have been your husband, a brother, a family member, by you or in the conflicts with this person and you have successfully in this conflict. So 
So congratulations. Your number is number seven and five. Seven and five is uh, uh, 11. Yes, three um, and two, 12. Seven and five is 12. 12 is three, sorry. So seven and five is 12, 12 is three. So use those number. As we look at the people who were born on the, the 12th of December, it is a temperance. It's a year of temperance. Another balancing out year. Um, um, finding your balance. And, and here you have uh, twice the energy of balance. So this is going to be a good year anyway for you guys because you end up with the eight of swords. So you're balancing some sort of a situation. As you balance out this situation, you're not, you're going to be seen clearly. Okay. Right now, you're not seeing clearly until you balance the, out each and every situation that is coming up to you. Then you're going to be starting to see clearly. And then you're going to be able in order to resolve some sort of a problem and some sort of a situation. So this is going to be very wonderful and very powerful because I see um, this earth energy is going to be coming in and your spirit guys and angel is going to be coming in a lot of you a Capricorn is going to be coming in to help some of you to balance out some sort of an issue a lot of you need to bring some sort of a situation between you and a Capricorn in balance or else you're going to be losing um, resistance of what is transpiring so um, a corporation you're going to be finding out and uh, uh, you're going to be bringing balance to some sort of a situation in a corporation institution. You are the one that is showing up. And this corporation institution was not aware of what was happening. And now you are showing uh, showing balance and balancing out some sort of a situation that people were doing. Uh, maybe at a workplace or maybe it was some sort of a government institute or organization that was creating some sort of a problem and now truth is coming out and people are seeing what was happening. So a whole lot of you are going to be balancing out this issue. Could be in a hospital, that sort of a thing. So balance is 14, 14 and 1 is 5. So we have 8, 2, 5, 8, and 14, 2, 5, 8 and 14, okay? A lot of you are going to be... Um, at the end of the year, you're going to be clearly seeing some sort of a truth about a corporation institution, some sort of a deceptive play that was there. And they're going to be finding out and try to balance out the situation. So we're looking at the people who are born on the 13th. Um, the people who are born on the 13th, this is going to be a magnificent year for you. It's as if in this year, you receive the energy of the magic wand. It's as if in this year, nothing can go wrong. And in this year, there is no regrets because you're going to be, um, the inner conflicts that you have been having is going to be over. Whatever inner conflicts that you were having, whatever issues, whatever problems, whatever inner conflicts that you were having is now going to be over. And I see truth is going to be coming in. And then you have clarity, clarity in order to create for yourself and create your own um, materialistic wealth and stability. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous because your mind is going to be clear and you're going to be razor sharp. And because of that, you're going to be able to create the wealth and stability that you want. There we go. I told you. I told you. Congratulations. So you are going to be very, 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 very lucky. Um, you are going to be um, extremely, extremely lucky. Men, be aware because you have a lot of jealousy, a lot of people um, out there who is going to be um, jealous of you. So men, be aware of what is happening. Be aware of what is transpiring. Be alert at the things that is going to be happening and transpiring in your world. So you have to be on top of your game with whatever you're um, thinking about doing. Be on top of your game because as you be on top of your game, you're going to be aware of uh, the long-term stability that can be created in your world so this is going to be absolutely fabulous so um raise your gas ladies and gentlemen because this is going to be a good year whether or not uh, um you were born on this day you're still going to be working through that effect of energy in um in one of these months that is coming up depends on where you are um so if you are and uh, the person 
Um, so let's move on. Um, so congratulations to the people who were born on the 13th. So 13 is not really a bad lucky number because this year you're going to be very, very lucky. And this year you're going to be creating a lot of uh, wonderful abundance and prosperity for you. And this is going to be happening. You're going to be finding out and seeing um, the truth of what is happening and transparent. So um, be aware of this. So and uh, um, just uh, um, stand strong and you're going to be creating a lot of uh, wonderful um, business idea and creating a lot of business for yourself. So um, congratulations. Now, the only thing um, a lot of you should think about is a a, um, a fire. This, this, this man is a, a de deceptive. I see you're going to be receiving a whole lot of information from this man. This man is very deceptive. Um, I don't answer the email. Don't answer the message. Just block this man and report this person. Okay. So wonderful alignment of energies. I see um, a deceptive. Some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a, a message, but um, don't uh, don't um, um, answer this message and that sort of a thing. Okay, you'll be okay. Hmm. So, um, now, what was I going to say? Um, money is not going to be a problem. A lot of you could be buying a new house, signing new contracts for a new house, that sort of a thing. I see you're going to be successful with whatever endeavor in a corporation institution. You're going to be very, very successful. Um, if you're starting your home business, you're going to be successful. Your business is going to be taken off. Um, a lot of you are going to be clearing up and making things clear in order to create a, your own um, stability and prosperity. And this is going to be wonderful. So be aware of this. A whole lot of love is going to be coming in and a whole lot of success is going to be coming in for a whole lot of you when it comes on to um stability um yeah when it comes on to stability i see a whole lot of love and admiration stability is going to be coming up in your world and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so so i love this for you guys i gotta go but i love you of you so so um please um share 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 these videos of yours because these videos is going to be um helpful to other people you're also sagittarian so a lot of you sagittarian was not aware that you are of yours so once you were born on november 29 until december 17 you are a of yours this is your energy for the year 2020 you have not started 2020 until after your birthday so Namaste, until next time.